the first thing we have to understand before we talk about transforming a broken heart, but not only that, but transforming through a broken heart, right? So I'll explain what I mean by that. But the first thing we have to understand is why do we experience pain in life? Because this is one of the hardest questions to answer. Um, you know, and a lot of people get lost in that question. Why is this happening to me? Or why did this have to happen? Um, you know, it's not fair. Uh, you know, we, we, we sometimes get stuck in the why, right? And when we get stuck in that why, we can't move forward. So I think it's very important that we have an understanding of what pain is and why do we experience pain. First and foremost, we know from an Islamic perspective, we know as believers that this life is not perfect, that this life is not Jannah, and rather this life is a, is a period, a, a temporary period of test for us. Now, when we say that this life is a test, we also should not misunderstand that word because sometimes when people hear, you know, when they learn the idea that this life is a test, but then they think that it's a test in the sense of um, like, a, like a professor tests you, right? So when a professor tests you, he or she gives you a test, uh, steps back, doesn't give you any help, and doesn't know how you're going to do, right? Until they see the test. Well, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's tests are not like that. Number one, and this is essential, is that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is with us in our tests. Allah does not go away uh, while we're being tested and just leave us to ourselves. The only time we are left to ourselves during a hardship is if we leave Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, if we close the door on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, if we distance ourselves from Allah. But Allah will never leave us unless we choose to leave Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So the, the the first sort of un like unlearning that we have to do when ide understanding the idea of a test is that Allah doesn't leave you in your test just for you to depend on yourself and then he steps back um, and sees what you're going to do. Rather, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is with us in that test. And without the help of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, absolutely no one, no one could ever pass this test. Nobody could be successful without the help of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So the first mistake, when we, when we, um, when we're dealing with a broken heart, when we're dealing with pain, is that we depend on ourselves. This is the first mistake that people make, even very religious people, even very spiritual people, even very um, practicing people will sometimes misunderstand the idea of being tested and think that they have to depend on themselves. So um, many people will uh, harden up. This is also one of the coping mechanisms that, that people will employ in order to sort of deal with the test. So what they'll do is they'll harden up, they'll they'll depend on themselves, they'll, you know, um, they'll, you know, they'll be like, okay, this is a test. I can't show any emotion. Um, I have to be strong, right? And of course, the false definition of strong usually means I have to feel nothing. I have to show no emotion. I have to be stoic about this. Otherwise, I'm not being patient. So these are all concepts I cover more in depth in the course. But the idea here is that one of the biggest mistakes that we make and one of the, the, the main reasons why we actually cause further suffering to ourselves is that we depend on ourselves when we are going through our difficulties. We, we think that Allah is testing me and therefore I need to depend on myself. I need to harden up. You know, there's this idea of sabr being equated with a hard, hardness, right? That I, I don't cry. I don't show sadness. I don't show emotion. These are all false concepts of sabr. And so to, to understand that actually, um, number one, Allah is with us in our hardship, that the test itself we are not left to ourselves unless we leave Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala.